Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for today's video. My name is Lina. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about Chanel Loup Long Collection 2023. I know it's very late. I've had this collection for more than two weeks now and uh, you've probably seen uh, enough photos and reviews. Um, I didn't have really time to sit down and make a long form video. I did share some swatches and close-ups in my shorts. But uh, since I've had this collection for a while and I've used it quite a bit, I think I have a, a very good understanding about the color story, the performance, and since this collection is very popular, some of the items, especially uh, the most popular, the blush highlighter powder, uh, it got sold out for the second time already, so I wanted to talk to you about a very good alternative as well. Uh, I will show you swatches and everything, but also I wanted to just share my makeup look created using this makeup item. And since this uh, wouldn't be a uh, first impression, maybe uh, that can add a little bit of value uh, if you're still interested in picking up some of the items that uh, are available. So that's the video for today. I hope you guys keep watching. So I picked up four different items from this collection and I'd like to show you the most stunning and the star piece of this collection in my opinion. So uh, this is the hybrid uh, blush highlighter powder and uh, I think this is the most popular item and it got sold out for the second time already. I don't know if Chanel will restock this blush highlighter powder again but if they do, I would uh, highly recommend uh, getting this powder. But just at that uh, retailer price i don't think it's worthwhile picking it up at like highly marked a price on ebay like 200 dollars that's just ridiculous because i've recently found a very good alternative a good friend of mine is a very big fan of the rms blush range and she recommended uh, this blush to me and uh, i got one shade french rosé and this is so pretty i'm so glad she recommended this to me and uh, the colors are not identical. I would say uh, the Chanel is slightly warmer, lighter pink because it has the white base. But this one is a cooler tone, more like a berry pink, and it has a clear base. So this might be a better option for deeper skin tone because it's not going to look chalky on the skin at all. Not that I'm saying that the Chanel would look chalky, but it does have like white base, but this one has a clearer base. But the finish and the texture, they're very comparable and they're both so amazingly gorgeous. So uh, in my blush collection, they uh, look different enough in my opinion and I'm so glad that I have both of these in my collection. I don't own that, but someone also pointed out House Lab uh, Highlighter Rose Quartz. Uh, that color is also quite similar to the uh, Chanel powder. So if you missed on the Chanel powder, do consider these two options. I think uh, they make really great alternatives. Next, I want to show you the eye quad and many people said uh, this looked like Easter eggs and certainly this is a very interesting whimsical color story. Not exactly the most intuitive color story because uh, it took me a while to figure out how to wear these colors. The formulation is one of my favorites. It's like half-baked uh, texture. Uh, it layers beautifully and for some lighter colors, I think they are quite well pigmented and uh, you can easily pick up the colors. If I use dark cream base underneath and layer these colors, I can get a version of smoky eyes as well. Uh, but a certainly great quality and interesting color story, so it makes a very unique piece in my collection. And I picked up a lilac shade of this multi-purpose highlighting stick, and it's so pretty to look at, and it's my second one. And uh, although I am not 100% in love with this formulation, uh, certainly having a lilac shade like this, it's very special, but on the skin, it looks like just uh, glistening, iridescent something. It doesn't particularly uh, look like a lavender or a lilac shade on the skin. Uh, very uh, emollient and 
This one actually makes great uh, lip balm and uh, some people complain it doesn't uh, dry uh, down and uh, hair sticks onto it. I didn't really uh, experience any of that. Uh, I think it's uh, like a good... Um, you know, like a novelty piece in my collection. I know that I'm not reaching for this kind of formulation all the time, but I will uh, try my best to get a good use out of it. Next, I picked up one Rouge Allure ink, and I, this time I tried really hard not to pick another cool red shade. There is a cool red shade uh, from this collection, but I went with this uh, neutral toned uh, reddish pink shade. It almost looked like soft red on the lips as well. Beautiful shade, very easy to wear. The formulation is also quite easy to wear as well. It will be drying at the end of uh, the day, but not overly so. It is very good for creating blurred, uh, soft lip kind of look. So I like this shade, but personally I think uh, with the other makeup items like a blush and the eyeshadows and whole aesthetic of this lip balm collection, lighter, uh, glossy, uh, pink lip color would also look quite beautifully together. And I didn't purchase this. I've had this in my collection for a while now. This is a waterproof eyebrow pencil, which uh, is being re-promoted as a part of this Le Blanc collection this year. They probably added a couple more new shades uh, to the range. I have the Eben Soft Black Shade. This is a very solid uh, you know, brow pencil, performs really nicely easy to use. Uh, I will demonstrate how this pencil works in my look demonstration as well. So now let me show you some swatches and after that I will do my look demonstration. I have applied my base makeup already, but since this is about Le Blanc collection, I went for an additional step today. So I applied a uh, makeup primer today. I usually skip makeup primer when I do my base makeup on a daily basis, but this is Le Blanc de Chanel uh, Illuminating Base and I mixed my concealer and a uh, really light uh, foundation together to add some more coverage and then I added an uh, extra layer of loose powder so that my complexion can stay matte and uh, even throughout the application. I personally think uh, Lupe Long Collection is really about brighter, evened out, a beautiful complexion so that the lighter point makeup can shine. So I think uh, the point makeup items are always uh, created and designed around the concept of really bright uh, complexion. I am going to start with basing my eyelids first and uh, the color that I want to try first is this matte uh, peachy shade and I'm using a very fluffy uh, round uh, crease brush. I'm just going to base my eyelids concentrating upper eyelids. So the struggle that I initially had with this quad is that I always uh, want some depth in my eyeshadow look, but this quad is not about that. So uh, at first, when I try this quad first, I piled up the colors and it builds up. Uh, it's not as light as you would think. Uh, I think the color actually can show up on deeper skin tones and it layers well, but quickly I figured out it's not really, uh, you know, this eyeshadow quads merits, uh, if that makes sense. It's just like, I can get definition from eye lines or some other things, and of course, 
I can always use a dark cream base and layer this baked formulation and uh, get a smoky look as well but today I'm just gonna stay light and uh, you know very light and easy next I'm going to use a flat eyeshadow brush and I uh, use this lavender shade and really pack this on and apply this starting from the inner corners of my eyes as you see uh, this one shows up pretty nicely and I'm kind of stopping uh, in the center here doing the same thing on the other eye so I have been using this quad quite a bit already I think I did six or seven makeup looks with this eye quad so the beautiful CC logo and embossing is almost gone so you can see the purple shade quite nicely here and I'm gonna switch the brush and I'm going to use a tiny uh, brush because I still want a little bit of depth so let me uh, use this darkest shade. Uh, to me, the shade is really uh, unique. This is like a mauve brown. And I'm going to pack this on, focusing on the outer corner of my eyes. So I'm not really trying to blend everything because the formulation itself blends really well. So this is kind of a color a block kind of look, if you uh, will. But then uh, because the formulation blends really nicely, you cannot really see uh, harsh lines between these two different colors and uh, they are kind of similar in the same tone so that helps as well and i'm going back to this peachy shade and uh, trying to blend it out lightly Try not to disturbing the other two colors that I uh, applied previously, but just blend out a little bit, bring everything together. And using a domed brush, uh, I'm going to apply this lemony uh, shimmery shade on the inner corners like this. It's really quite pretty and brightening shade. And I'm gonna extend this color focusing on the inner corners like this brighten up a little bit more make it slightly more interesting and let me do my eye lines on my upper lash lines I'm going to use Chanel gel eyeliner and uh, this is a very dark uh, black shade and I'm using Chanel brush number 205 and I recently found out this gel eyeliner also works really well as a cream base so I will show that look in some other video I'm just focusing on the outer corners, flick it out a little bit, and the rest of the line I am keeping it very close to my natural lashes. Using a stiff tiny brush, I'm going back to this mauve brown shade. And I think I like a little bit more lemony shimmer, so this time I'm going to use the applicator included and pop that on here a little bit more, so that's a little bit more intense. And maybe add that in the center of my lids, let's try it. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and add some mascara and I'll be right back. 
I am back and I'd like to show you how this eyebrow pencil which was like quietly re-promoted as a part of the Loup Blanc collection this year I didn't buy the new one, I had the Ed Ben shade uh, this is a soft black shade but I thought I would just show you how this performs uh, I like this quite a bit, it's easy to control and uh, the color uh, works really well for me I think a couple of new shades were launched uh, within this range as well but uh, since my hair color is pretty dark black this color works really nicely I'm going to add a little bit of brown mascara that's like a really dark brown to add some dimension but as you see it easily fills in and it's waterproof and long lasting Now let's apply this beautiful highlighting blush. Uh, I really love this color. Uh, it's amazing and it shows up quite nicely, illuminating, it almost like melts in the skin and so pretty. I think it's the star piece of the collection. And uh, some of my friends actually bought backups and I totally understand uh, this is totally backup worthy. Super brightening and you can see the color very well and now time to apply some lip color I personally think lighter uh, lip balm or lip gloss uh, would really look beautiful with this look I don't like uh, Chanel lip balm formulation that much so uh, I'm going to try this uh, one of the uh, Rouge Coco Flash. It's number 138 feel. It's just juicy, a soft pink color. So I'm just going to show you how this whole look uh, goes together with lighter pink shade. From this collection, I only purchased one lip color uh, that's Rouge Allure Link and it's number 236 Gourmandise and uh, this is reddish pink shade, kind of neutral, slightly warm but not too warm kind of shade and I think this also goes uh, very nicely with the whole look because there is a little bit of warmth in the blush color although uh, in a sense it's a cool pink shade so let me show you I like to blot the lip color a little bit because I think softer finish would look prettier with this look. I almost forgot to add that lilac uh, stick highlighter shade. Um, okay, The blush is quite shimmery so I really don't uh, see the need that I need to apply this but let me just apply it like right on top over here. So like using my finger when I apply this so this is the finished makeup look using this beautiful Loup Blanc collection from Chanel this year I hope you find this demo and my very late review somewhat helpful and let me know what you think about this collection if you have picked up anything from the collection uh, what is your favorite way of wearing these makeup items I would love to know so thank you very much for watching this video and spending your time with me as always I really appreciate it give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you can I hope to see you guys in my next video Bye.